With all of the building and construction that's happened in the last century or two, there are bound to be failures. Here, we'll take a look at the places that weren't entirely thought through, including a playground that burns, and a bridge that was doomed from the start. With all of the advancements we've made, one would think these kinds of things wouldn't happen, but they do, and luckily enough for your entertainment pleasure. Kick back, take a break, and take a gander at these terribly built structures. 12. The Walkie Talkie this beautiful building is located in the center of London and is an award-winning office block. It's been called an architectural triumph for its curved design, and it is quite majestic when you don't look at it in the sunlight. Its actual name is 20 Fenchurch Street, but it was nicknamed the Walkie Talkie because of its distinctive shape. Not long after the building was finished, complaints began rolling in due to it causing some pretty severe safety and health concerns. The concave design allows the structure to reflect and focus sunlight on the streets buildings, people, and cars around it, making it act almost like a magnifying glass. It sometimes makes the streets around it so hot that people can even fry eggs on it. One more notable instance involved pedestrians becoming overwhelmed by the heat and cars parked in the area getting damaged. 11. Vidara Hotel and Spa This architectural beauty found in Las Vegas, Nevada was a great concept with its curved and semi-unique structure, but it wasn't thoroughly thought through, considering the shape of the building directs sunlight and focuses it right into the hotel's pool area. As soon as the hotel opened in 2009, guests began complaining about the heat around the pool and reported that the building was burning them. One guest, Bill Pintaz, claimed that he had his hair scorched by the heat coming from the extraordinary building and had a bag that he brought with him melted entirely. Hotel employees call the phenomenon the Vidara Death Ray. It's been shown that the ray can cause air in the area to heat up to 20 degrees warmer than the surrounding air. Recently, the hotel installed giant umbrellas to protect swimmers from the hotel's death rays, and the reports of burns have since died out. 10. Pier 1 Playground this playground was designed and then built in Brooklyn Bridge Park in New York back in 2010. It looked like a haven for children and parents alike who could visit the park and find some much needed distraction from everyday life. The problem was the park had various climbing structures that were built from steel. On an ordinary day, the structures were climbable and reports said children loved them. But when the sun shined in and temperatures soared, the steel playthings became heat conductors that could blister. Most parents know to check the heat of the equipment before their children play on them, a concept which completely eluded the design team. Parents measured some of the structure's temperatures at 127 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than hot enough to fry an egg. Multiple toddlers were burned on the equipment before city officials decided they would be removed and replaced. 9. Ray and Maria Stata Center Opened in 2004, the Ray and Maria Stata Center was celebrated and applauded for its design. The incredible angular building was said to change the laws of physics and at one time was thought to be an architectural masterpiece. Inside, MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Labs, the Laboratory of Information and Decision Systems, and the Department of Linguistics and Philosophy are housed. Well, in 2007, MIT filed a lawsuit against Frank Gehry, the award-winning designer of the building. Major structural problems and design flaws had been identified in the three years the building had been open. Mold grew on exterior walls, giant icicles hung dangerously outside, and issues with drainage caused massive cracks in the walls. Skanska USA Building, the construction company, said they had warned Gary of the issues, but he had ignored what they had to say. In the end, it cost the school more than $1.5 million for alterations and repairs. 8. CNA Center A colorful high-rise, the CNA Center was designed by Graham, Anderson, Probst, and White. It stretches 44 stories into the Chicago sky and was first opened back in 1972. For years, there were minimal problems with the building, but in 1999, everything changed. A large pane of glass from the 29th floor came loose on October 8, 1999 and plummeted to the ground, sadly landing on a woman who was walking with her child and killing her. Thermal expansion was found to be the cause following an investigation and reportedly 40 windows had cracked in the five years leading up to the tragedy. The window that fell on her had been broken for four months before it dropped and in 2002, an $18 million settlement was reached with her family. Following the incident, all of the windows of the building were refurbished and they're now monitored closely to this day. 7. Lotus Riverside Complex 
Found in Shanghai, China, the Lotus Riverside Complex is an apartment complex that had 11 buildings at the time a tragedy struck. The buildings were nearing completion when one of them, a 15-story mammoth, toppled to the ground. One life was claimed, a worker on the project, and an investigation found that low-quality building techniques and a rush to get the apartments done caused the collapse. Around half of the units had already been sold for roughly $60,000 apiece, and refunds had to be issued. Nine officials were arrested and tried in the collapse on the grounds of causing serious accidents, and six of the nine were found guilty. They were sentenced to between three and five years for violating safety management regulations. 6. Secret Intelligence Service there hasn't been any major structural fails, nor is the building known to be structurally unsound. The problem with this one is that it houses the Secret Intelligence Service, or SIS. It houses M16, which is like the United States CIA, a secretive agency dealing with spies, much like James Bond. It first became the headquarters of SIS in 1994, and since then, many have likened the look of the building to that of a Mayan temple. Now, the issue here is, isn't a secret government spy building supposed to be a bit more secretive? It stands out from literally everything else around it, and it's very easily identifiable by anyone in the world. Maybe they should have gone a little more low-key. 5. AON Center Opened in 1973 and originally called the Standard Oil Building, this massive skyscraper is Chicago's third tallest building behind Willis Tower and Trump International Hotel and Tower. It stands 1,136 feet, or 346 meters, and is comprised of 83 floors. It opened to wide praise for its beauty as designers elected to cover the external facade in Italian Carrera marble, which worked for a time. But then, in 1974, a chunk of the marble, which is much thinner than typical cladding materials, detached from the building. The slab crashed down onto the roof of the Prudential Center next door and caused an investigation. It was then found that the marble slabs were bowing and cracking all over the building, and the material was deemed unsuitable. The AON Center was then recladded in granite, which cost a whopping $80 million. 4. Kemper Arena this next building first opened way back in 1976 and is an indoor stadium located in Kansas City, Kansas. It was well received and loved, and one of its more notable features was its trussled roof. Well, the inevitable happened in June of 1979 when a massive storm hit the city, and that beloved roof couldn't take all the strain. The design had been built to release rainwater very slowly to keep the nearby West Bottoms area from inundating, but the torrent proved too much and collected on the roof. The resulting pool of water caused the roof to sag until it finally failed and gave out. The bolts in the hangers from which the roof hung had also been miscalculated, and once one gave, they all gave, and around one acre of it came tumbling down. After an investigation, the issues were all addressed, and the stadium was reopened again within a year. 3. Tacoma Narrows Bridge Built in Tacoma, Washington, and open to the public on July 1, 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was an architectural disaster right from the very start. Upon opening, it was the third largest suspension bridge in the entire world, which makes what happened to it that much more terrifying. It stood just four months before magnificently collapsing on November 7, 1940. The problem was that cheap girders were chosen for the project to keep costs down, and it was this frugality that ultimately doomed the structure. During construction, the bridge earned the nickname Galloping Gertie because before it even opened, the structure swayed and swung significantly. November 7, 1940 provided 39.7 mile per hour or 64 kilometer per hour winds, which proved too much. And there is a video online of the thing swaying and rolling until it ultimately fails and falls into the water below. The failure did end up doing some good though. It helped to boost research into the aerodynamics aerolastics of the bridge, which has wholly influenced the design of subsequent long span bridges. 2. Leaning Tower of Pisa Yes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This bell tower is freestanding and located in Pisa, Italy. Go figure. This tower is hugely famous and a must-see for tourists all over the world. You may recognize it from pictures where people appear to hold up the tower or maybe photos of them kicking it over. Either way, the tower that's situated directly behind the Cathedral of Pisa was not supposed to look like that initially. 
It was built back in the 12th century, and the tilt began mid-construction due to an inadequate foundation set into the soil that was too soft to hold up the weight of the tower. Workers attempted to correct the tilt throughout construction, however, it only got worse by the time the structure was finished in the 14th century. It's now semi-curved and banana-shaped, and over the centuries following, it tilts around one millimeter more each year. This one obviously wasn't thought through all the way. Question. Wow, there sure are a lot of messed up buildings and structures out there. We've already seen a bunch, and we still have one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask you a question. What's the worst, most rundown, biggest fail of a building or structure you've ever encountered? Where is it? Leave your answers down in the comments, and maybe it'll get featured in a video in the future. 1. John Hancock Tower this tower calls the city of Boston home. It was opened to the public in 1976 and was well received for its minimalist design. The tower stands 60 stories, which became a big problem when the windows began falling out of the building. The cause ended up being repeated and unexpected thermal stresses, and all 10,000 windows had to be replaced. Sounds good, right? Well, the tower also experiences a fair amount more sway than other towers at the same height. In fact, People on the upper floors have reported becoming motion sick from the movement in the tower. In the end, the problem was figured out and fixed, thankfully for those workers. Can you imagine going to work and getting sick every single day? No thank you. If this video taught you anything about some of the more significant fails of human architecture, do us a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo on this screen so that you never miss out on any of our excellent uploads. And be sure to check out this great video that we handpicked just for you.